Hey, this is Mike, and uh, today I want to take a look at the course menu in Blackboard 9 and show you some of the new features that you have available to you. Um, so I'm going to go back to that uh, course that I've been using to show you how to uh, operate Blackboard um, with. And you'll notice that I've got my course menu in edit mode on. And if I switch edit mode on to edit mode off, you'll, f you'll notice a few key changes. If you'll notice, I have these sort of up and down arrows on um, all of my um, course menu options. And I've also got these little gray boxes next to some of the menu options. I've also got all of these sort of arrows and chevrons and icons and things like that. If I click edit mode off and pay attention to what's going on in the um, course menu, you'll notice most of the stuff has sort of turned off. So I don't have those arrows anymore. And this is what the students will see. And some of my options have even disappeared. So you'll notice syllabus is gone um, and course documents has uh, gone as well. Until you have items in content areas, they will not show up for your students um, or when you have edit mode turned off. So I'm going to turn edit mode back on. And you'll notice that here I've got all of the options back. Um, first thing up at the top, I can create a new content area. If I hover over that little plus mark, I can do a bunch of things. I can create a content area, I can create a tool link, um, a bunch of other things that we'll talk about um, in future uh, episodes. Um, I can also uh, take a look at a list view. That's the next option over here. And I can toggle between list view and folder view. Here's folder view. And you'll notice that I have all of my um, items, my menu items in folders here. Um, I can also display the course menu in a new window if I like, and I can click on that and it'll appear in a separate window. And I don't really like that, so I'm going to close that. Um, and this is a refresh button. If you ever want to see changes that haven't showed up, you can click on refresh and any, any changes will uh, appear. So I'm going to click back on list view. I think it's easier to see for our purposes. And what, one thing that I can do um, with the new Blackboard 9 is I can arrange these menu items in any order that I'd like. So let's say I wanted my groups area up above my syllabus. So if you notice, I'm going to hover over that double arrow and it will show me a set of sort of four arrows going in each direction. And I'm going to click and drag and you'll notice as I drag up, I get a little dotted line showing where this item is going to drop. And I'll click it on above the syllabus. Um, and that's it. It's as easy as that to change my um, order of my buttons. Um, I also have these little chevrons over here on the right-hand side of each item. And that's where I can change things like the link. So let's say I didn't want that to say groups. Let's say I wanted that to say um, group page, for example. And I can click on a little check button there. So I've changed the name of that link to group page. Um, and let's say that I didn't want syllabus there. Let's say I wanted to say course information like the old Blackboard 8. So I can go ahead and click on rename link and call that course information. And I can click on a little check box here. To save it, and I've saved it. Um, so that is the basic idea behind the course menu and how you change items there. One thing that I should tell you is that I can uh, shrink down my course menu if I want more um, space for my control panel, and you'll notice I have the chevron up arrow, and I can click on that and it will shrink down my course menu. I can now expand that by clicking on the arrow again. Um, and this little arrow here will take me back to the course entry page. So if I'm, for example, anywhere else on the site in my group pages, and I click on that arrow, it'll take me back to my course entry page, back to the home page. 